Hello dear sons, welcome to the Quantum Guru. In this video, I am going to talk about a very important result of uh, elastic oblique collision. And the result is that, that uh, in elastic oblique collision, when we look from the C-frame, the speed of the colliding particles do not change. What changes is just their rotation. And this is a very important result. And by using this result, we can solve easily the problem related to uh, scattering uh, and C-frame. So let's start uh, uh, arriving to this result. Suppose uh, we have uh, two particles M1 and M2 as you can see and uh, this picture is in ground frame. The particle of mass M1 is moving with velocity U1 and uh, particle mass M2 is moving with velocity U2. And as we can see that uh, they have a velocity of approach U1 minus U2. And one important thing is that uh, relative velocity is same in all frames. So even if I look from the C frame, the velocity of approach will remain same. And even if I look from the C frame, the velocity of separation will also be the same. And what you can see that, what is the velocity of center of mass in the C frame? This velocity of the center of mass is Vc is equal to uh, m1 u1 plus m2 u2 upon m1 plus m2. Now, after collision, the individual particles have velocity v1 and v2 as you can see. When we see this whole picture in the C frame, uh, the picture is something like this. Let me explain how this comes. In the C frame, uh, the property of the C frame is that total momentum of the C frame is zero. So in C frame, the particles will always move opposite to each other. Uh, at all moments, their total momentum will be zero. So initially, the particle M1 has a velocity U1C and particle M2 has a velocity U2C. And after collision, their velocity will become uh, V1C and V2C. And after collision also, they will be opposite. Before collision, they are also moving towards each other. So uh, if I want to write the, in C frame, the velocity of particle one in C frame, U1 C, the, this is the initial velocity in the C frame. So that will be the U1 minus UC, uh, U1 minus VC. And you can see, uh, you know, this is a direct result. You can uh, directly use the result, but here just you put this U1 minus VC and you will obtain this to be M2 into uh, u1 minus u2 uh, divided by m1 plus m2. Similarly, uh, you can obtain the initial speed of the particle 2 in the C frame. And that will be how much? That will be u2 minus vc. And it's magnitude I'm writing. And you will find the magnitude to be, the direction is opposite. The magnitude you will find equal to m1 uh, u1 minus u2 upon m1 plus m2 as you can see in this diagram and because this is a uh, this is a elastic collision so velocity of separation will be uh, e times of velocity approach and e is 1 so velocity of separation is equal to velocity of approach and in this diagram, you see the what is the velocity of separation? This is a V1C plus V2C. So velocity of separation is a V1C plus V2C. V1C and V2C are the velocities of particle 1 and 2 uh, after collision in C frame. And I can, uh, I've told you that the velocity approach is same in all frame and you can get it from here. So you see that if you add the these two velocities so you are going to get uh, u1c this was the magnitude and with the sign if you write velocity approach so that will be uh, u1c plus u2c and if you add u1c plus u2c you will get u1 minus u2 and also i told you before that the velocity approach is same in all frame so directly i can write this velocity approach as u1 minus u2 and also because total momentum of the system is always zero. So you can also write uh, M1 V1C 
minus m2 v2c is 0 mean m1 v1c is equal to m2 v2c so here i want to write everything for v1c so v2c from this equation can be written as m1 by m2 uh, v1c and here it is u1 minus u2 arrange it a little bit so you will get uh, I can just simplify this v1c and take uh, v1c common 1 plus m1 by m2 and that is u1 minus u2 and finally simplify v1c you are going to get m2 u1 minus u2 upon m1 plus m2 and put this v1c in this equation uh, you will get v2c v2c is equal to you will get m1 u1 minus u2 upon m1 plus m2 so see what we have got so we have got v1c is equal to uh, u1c so v1c is equal to u1c and i have got v2c is equal to u2c so that is a very powerful result so v1c is equal to u1c and v2c is equal to u2c so that means the speed of the colliding particle has not changed it is still the same in c frame and that is for the elastic collision so what has happened only the thing that has happened that they have rotated and how much they have rotated that will depend on the uh, relative masses and also the uh, line of impact so this is a powerful result and hope you have enjoyed this video and based on this video i'll come with the another powerful result and that is the relationship between the angle of a scattering in c frame and in torn frame that question was asked also in the olympiad thank you